What's going on, my gilded brethren? You see this uh, text effect right here? In the tutorial that I uh, got this from, they called it the, uh, the aura text effect. I'm gonna call it the finger paint text effect. Because it looks like finger paint. Looks like finger paint or live like Laffy Taffy, like Candy Laffy Taffy. It looks like, in, well, you can see the aura here. Maybe, but I don't think that's enough to just call it the aura text effect. I, I like finger paint. This looks like finger paint to me. I'd call it Laffy Taffy effect before I call it the, the finger paint effect. But hey, let's go up to file and new. Let's get this thing started. I'm going to start off with the width of 1000. Height of 600 and resolution of 300. Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to swatches and we're going to go to 75% gray. This is what we're going to do first. We're going to fill this background with 75% gray. Alright, there we go. So we have the text tool. <clears throat> and it really doesn't matter what text you're using. I'm going to be using comics. Set to regular 48. My font size is 48 and I will have the link to this font in the descriptions just in case you want it set that font to black and I'm typing in GA5 as always you can type in whatever you'd like over I want you to do here before we do anything the tracking the tracking over here set it to 60 for me yeah there you go 60 uh-huh alright back to layers Alright, now let's try to center this as much as possible. And what we're going to do next, we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to grab the pen tool. What we're going to start by doing, have it set the pass and pen tool. And we're going to start by try outlining our letters. This is, this is the hardest part of this tutorial. The whole tutorial. This right here. This pen tool. It, it takes a while to get used to. Believe me. I, I've had to just it put me through a lot alright and to, uh, to start tracing the other letter what I want you to do is hold down control and just click outside of the path control click and look at that start a new one no problem but yeah this is this is the hardest part of this tutorial to me it was it was the the, crea the, the creating the outlines of the letters you don't have to use three letters. You can use however many letters you'd like. You can use whatever font you'd like. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Back, back up a little bit. Ooh. What am I doing? See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm messing up. And, and you know, this this isn't practice. This is, we're in the field. We're in the field. People can get hurt. But yeah, I'm just going to continue to outline these letters. Hopefully you're doing the same. Uh, control click outside of it to start a new one, no problem. All right. Okay. Minus five. Read this up. Here we go. That was perfect. There we go. All right. And what we can do now? This is perfect. Go ahead and delete this this font layer, this text layer, because we don't need it anymore. What I want you to do is select this layer, and we're gonna rename it. Alright, we're gonna rename it in a second. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this first. Go over to the brush tool, set the foreground to black. And then I want you to open up this this panel right here. What I want you to do is turn shape dynamics off, smoothing on. It's at the 36 pixels, 100% hardness, and spacing. I want you to set the 255%. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. Alright. Go to the paths little menu and right click. Oh, okay. right. Right click paths, make sure layer 1 is selected. And we're going to stroke path and then go down to, to brush. We just set it up, hit OK. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We're, we're not done yet. We have a long way to go. Check this out. What I want you to do next is we're going to get um, go to smudge. Let's set the smudge tool. 
grab one of these these circle brush heads right here. And I'm gonna click this little button right here. Shape dynamics off. We're gonna turn transfer off also, and we're just gonna have smoothing going. Just smoothing. All right, spacing at five percent. Hardness at 100 and size we're going to set to 50 pixels okay alright what we're going to do next is we back up the layers panel alright go to blending options and we're going to add a gradient overlay and then actuals we're going to add spectrum there we go spectrum we're going to set the opacity Gonna uncheck a line. Uncheck a line. We're gonna set scale to 60. And I'm gonna move this uh, down a little bit. Add a little bit, a little bit more flavor to it. You know, get the red in there. Yeah. And hit OK. And now get the arrow to go back up the paths. What we'll do now is um, stroke path again, and we're gonna hit. We're gonna select smudge. We'll select smudge this time. Hit OK. And look at that. There we go. Finger painting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply that two more times. Right click. Hit OK. Right click. Stroke. Hit OK. Wow, that's amazing. All right, now we're gonna get rid of this path. Let's go in there. Right click and delete path. Yeah, how about that? <gasps> well, I didn't know you could do that. That's nice. And, uh, I like that blue. I like the blue. I like the blue. Give me the blue. I love the blue. Alright. And now what we're going to do, we're going um, to duplicate this layer. Hit Control J to duplicate. Alright, then we're going to merge them. Let's merge these two layers. Alright, we're gonna name it te text layer. Let's rename this to text layer. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, duplicate it one more time. And we're gonna name this layer, I'm gonna name it A layer. It should have been raised, but you know, my, my R and S don't, don't work because of my recording software. So, I'm gonna leave that out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hide that layer. And then we're gonna move this up a little bit and we're going to add a bevel to this bevel we're going to bevel and emboss this layer the text layer with blending options bevel and emboss it's going to be inner bevel smooth depth we're going to set it to 175 direction up size we're going to set to 20 we're going to make the angle 145 okay alright and set the altitude at 60. 60. And we're going to change the opacity to 90. Okay. Change that to 90. Right, there we go. Alright, hit OK. And now what we're going to do is um, we're going to duplicate this layer. Alright, and we're going to go to Edit, Transform. And flip vertical. We're gonna make this the reflection. You just hold shift and drag down so the drag down perfectly aligned. And next, gonna add um, a layer mask to the text copy layer. Okay, add that. Go over here, grab the gradient tool. That one's gonna be from black to white, linear gradient. And we're gonna drag from the top down. Voila! There we go. And we're gonna uh, set that layer opacity to 25%. Oh, you can barely see that. Whoa. What is that? Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, unhide, unhide this A layer. A on mine, Ray on yours. Alright. Select that. I'm gonna move this up and align it. What we're gonna do with this layer now is we're gonna add a radial blur to it. Radial blur. Alright. 
settings, mount 100, blur method zoom, quality best. Hit OK. And what we're going to do, we're going to add this filter two more times. There we go. And now what I want you to do is hit Control Alt T. And we're going to transform this thing. After we set the color blend mode to color dodge. <coughs> Alright, control out T to transform and we're gonna go up here to the W, set it at 140. We're gonna set the height at 140 also. Hit hit enter. Hit enter twice to uh put that down. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit just to align it. Mine makes copies all the time. I'm gonna have to delete this copy. Align it as best we can for right now. We're going to set the opacity at uh, 55%. There we go. We're going to delete this. Again. I, I don't know why it does that, but every time I, I transform, it, it does that. And we're going to bring the, uh, the A copy on my A copy. We're going to bring it down behind the text layer. In this copy, I mean, I'm just going to delete that and get that out of the way. But on yours, it should say raise. Raise, and we're gonna bring that below the text layer. Hey, look, it's 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 becoming, it's becoming the aura, the aura text. Double click on the background, hit OK, and go to blending options, go to gradient, gradient overlay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uncheck align with um with layer. Let's set this to screen, the blending mode to screen. Set the opacity to 40. A gradient, we're going to keep it like that. The white to black. Hit reverse. Take scale down to 55. Hit OK. Hey, look at that. What I want you to do now is create a new layer above layer 0. Name it ground. Okay, gowned. Mine says, mine says gown just because. I want you to go over here and grab the elliptical tool. Whoops. And do do something like what I'm doing right now. Making this little outline right here. And I want you to fill it with white. Grab the paint bucket, fill it with white. Oops, select the ground. Ground layer. Alright. Grab that. Move it down a little bit. Alright, and then I want you to hit control D to deselect. Alright, now I want you to go up to filters with the ground selected, ground layer selected, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. We're gonna blur this out 40. Blur it out by 40. Hit OK. Right, now check that out. It's looking pretty, isn't it? Let's set the opacity of that layer to 65. Okay. Now what we need to do is uh, duplicate the text layer, the main text layer. Okay, duplicate that, and we're gonna name it Shadow. We're about to make a um, makeshift shadow. Well, on mine is gonna be Hado because you know my S doesn't work, as we all know. Name that Shadow. I want you to Control Alt T. I want you to. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, you gotta bring it down. Alright, so right about there, and then we can move that down just a little bit. Alright, hit enter. Then what I want you to do is hit control alt U to bring up the hue and saturation menu. I want you to set the lightness at negative 90. Okay, can you do that for me? Negative 90? Hit OK. And we're gonna go to filters with this shit. Alright, I gotta delete my first one. Because it always makes a copy for some reason. Now I'll select the shadow copy. The shadow on yours, copy on mine. Go to blur. Go to Gaussian blur. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blur it by five. And we're gonna go back to blur. Motion blur this time. We're gonna set angle to zero, distance to 60. Look at that. That shadow. That's beautiful, isn't it? And um yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. 
duplicate the text copy. What we're going to do is go to filter, Gaussian blur, hit it with a five point, and then go to blending mode, and set it to overlay. We're going to bring the colors out a little bit more before we go. Look at that. That's finger paint masterpiece right here. This is it. This is the aura slash finger painting slash laffy taffy effect right here. And for uh, your information, if you want to make bring that reflection out a little bit more, just just make a copy of the, uh, of the text copy layer a couple times and bring it out a little bit more to your taste. But hey, thank you all for watching. Comment, subscribe, post video responses. I would love to see your work. Hey, thank you all for watching. Have a happy YouTube. Oh,